Hello everyone, and welcome to this Let's Play of Sid Meier's Civilization V. And today I will be playing with mods as King Umberto I of Italy. Here we can see that the unique trait for Umberto I is Firstborn Colonies. You and your partner train settler units 10% faster for having an open borders arrangement up to 100%. Harbors and seaports constructed in cities on a foreign continent expand city borders and grant a free worker unit. As we can see here, this is a map of the Kingdom of Italy under King Umberto I and Prime Minister Francesco, Cres uh, Prime Minister Francesco Crespi in 1890. We can see mainland Italy and we can see the colonies of Somalia and Eritrea in Africa. The unique unit of the Kingdom of Italy under Umberto I is the Regio Esercito, which replaces the, Fusili uh, which replaces the Fusilier. The Chaudulio class is another unique unit, and it replaces the Ironclad. So I am playing with a number of different mods, including the Vox Populi set of mods, and I'm also playing with a lot of uh, a lot of different civilization mods, mostly focused on different uh, Western leaders from the 19th and early 20th centuries, as well as World War I and World War II leaders. Now, this is the setup I have here. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied with it, but I might want to put in China just to mix it up a bit, but I don't think I have enough room. So this this will just have to work. I'll play with um ch uh, the Qing Empire of China in another game. I think this is a good setup. I have a good mix of European and North and South American civilizations. So let's go. Uh, do I want to change? No, this is all good. I'm gonna play on Prince difficulty just to challenge myself a bit. I haven't played much on Prince, but anyways, let's go. Umberto the first. Oh, well. I must have clicked something at the wrong time because the information about the Chow Dulio class is blocking the introduction. But I'll wait till this is done loading and then I can read this. Okay, now I can read it. Umberto I, Italian Empire. Newly united, Italy looks to their future in you, Umberto I. Ascending to her nascent throne in 1878, you quickly took to the challenge of entering Italy onto the world stage. Threatened by hostile France, you entered into the Triple Alliance with Germany and Austria-Hungary. Forcing the world to recognize yours as one of the great powers of Europe, with allies newly forged, you could thus turn your attention to Italy's greatest ambition. In East Africa, you would go on to oversee her rise as one of history's great empires. Good King Umberto, Italy has struggled hard to find her place in Europe. It falls upon you now to be a beacon of both unity and ambition. Can you reawaken Italy's dormant ambitions to secure a Mediterranean empire? Can you elevate Italy's place amongst the great powers of Europe? Can you build a civilization that can stand the test of time? Begin your journey. So, after some technical difficulties, aka some mods not working, I have returned. So it is now 4000 BC and I can found my first city as Italy. And that would be Rome, or an Italian Roma. So I'm gonna build a shrine. Or then I can go with a monument. I'll go with a... Yeah, I'll go with a shrine. Yeah, I'll go with the monument. You know what? I'll put... I'll put a queue. I'll just do the monument first. Okay. So I have two units here. A warrior and a pathfinder, which seems to have replaced the scout unit. Anyways, I will send both of these units to explore the surrounding area. Now it seems as if I'm in sort of a hotter grassland sort of area. 
Anyways, I'll just save here in case anything goes wrong. I'll, I'll overwrite the current file, it's fine. So let me choose my research. I will research the wheel so I can build Stonehenge. You know what, I'll research pottery. You know what, I'll research the wheel, then pottery. So with these Vox Populi mods, I can only build a settler in a city that has a population of more than uh, four or more. So yeah, uh, I'll hold off on that. Now I like how when you go over the units, they zoom in on the icon. It's very nice. And same here with this new menu or this new bar here. It was a zoom in of the leader icon. And same with the buildings you're building in your city is with this new menu. That And yeah, so basically the Vox Populi mods add a bunch of new stuff, including these menus. It reworks the menu up here. And adds a lot of cool new features. So I found some ruins, that's good. And it looks like, oh, well, that's just a river. But hopefully I'll discover the coastline at some point. And I'll just automate the Pathfinder to explore the surrounding area. Alright. Hmm. I found cultural artifacts which awe your citizens. Which awe my citizens, I should say. That's cool. And who have I discovered? Victoria of Great Britain. We are Victoria. Sovereign and protector of the British Empire. We would venture to welcome you to our court in the hopes that our interests can best be served in the most civil manner agreeable. And there are the Houses of Parliament behind her, and there's a portrait of her husband, Prince Albert of saxe coburg Gotha. This is a pretty cool leader screen. Let's hear your offer. I don't really have an offer. But you have more gold than me. Or... Ah, that makes me a little jealous. No, nothing else. So there's a British Pathfinder. So, okay, me and Victoria have the same score, so I gotta be conscious of the score since I'm playing at a harder difficulty. Uh, on Prince difficulty, so yeah. I'm gonna keep researching, I'm gonna keep building. Yeah, I just gotta keep up with my science. Build a lot of cities, maybe conquer some cities. It'll all work out. And I've increased the population in my capital city of Rome. That's good. But I gotta find the coast. Because I do like, I do want to found a coastal city at some point. Hopefully. Not too far. Found some ruins. I'll probably get some goodies from. I'll definitely get some goodies from those. Promote my Pathfinder. Oh, I have a higher score than Victoria. Thank God. Oh, ruins explored. You discover a crudely drawn map which outlines the surrounding area, and there is London. Now it seems like the coast maybe maybe is down there. Interesting. Ooh, your unit equips itself with the advanced weapons found in the ruins, and now I have a spearman. That's pretty cool, but I'm not gonna fortify myself there. I'm gonna move around and still explore. Now, what's this? Comet sighted. A comet has appeared in your night. A comet has appeared in our night sky. Some believe it to be a miracle, others an ill omen. Your advisors are unsure and look to you for guidance. What does this mean? I'll say it's a good omen, which gives me 100 golden H points. Ah, there's the old event sound effect from Civ 4, which definitely brings back memories. And look, I discovered Old Faithful. Congratulations, the discovery of Old Faithful has increased happiness in the Empire. Output of work, six science, yield increase per era, two culture. So that is definitely good. I will continue exploring. I'll, you know, keep promoting my Pathfinder. That might be a lake, or it might be the ocean. I'm not sure. All I know is that London is along the coast. And it's Queen Victoria of Britain, not just England. Which is, which makes sense, obviously. But, uh, I have advanced weapons, so if I wanted to take out the Brits right now, 
just have England as a puppet state, I could do that. But I'll hold off on that for now. Um, I might build another Pathfinder, though, so I can explore a bit. No, I think I'm going to explore. So I finished, so I've built this. I'm just going to build the Stonehenge right away. Uh, then I can get some more points, then I'll build a council building, and eventually I'll build a settler. But I have to research pottery first. So, okay. What's up here? I have no idea. But I might, you know, just defeat that warrior first? I don't know, if I can. I might purchase, once I get enough money, I might just purchase a warrior. I uh, mean, Victoria are neck and neck, but I'm, I have a higher score than her. Alright, you're going down, barbarians. Come on, man. I have no idea what's up here, and it looks like I discovered some more ruins. Oh no, that's a barbarian camp. That's even worse. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fuck with them. I'm just not. I found another barbarian camp, but I have more advanced units than they do, so... Oh, shisa. Okay. I'm just not gonna f screw around with them. Alright. Social policies. Tradition or progress? Uh, I'm gonna go with... Progress. It's best for civilizations which desire robust infrastructure and scientific advancement. I do, as I want more science to get a higher score. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna learn mining. So maybe I could build the pyramids at some point. Uh, okay. What's going on here? Nice. And I have a higher score than Victoria, which is good. And who have I met here? Carlos the First of Portugal. Welcome, welcome. I am Carlos the First, King of Portugal. Tell me, do you share in the fondness I have for the sea? Not necessarily, because I don't have a coastline at the moment, but maybe someday I will. Um, I'm more... So I've met Portugal, and I've met Britain. I've met Great Britain, and I've met Portugal. So those are the two other civs I've met so far. Let me just move over here. I eventually have to discover more of the uh, east over here, and I've met someone else. Afonso Pena of Brazil. Savasoins. I am Afonso Pena, the president of the United States of Brazil, guarding its beauty and wealth. Are you here to invest in it? Not really. Goodbye. Okay, so I've met Brazil as well. So I've met Great Britain, and I've met the two Lusophonic civilizations of Portugal and Brazil. Eventually, I will meet some of the Hispanic ones I chose for this game as well. But most of the civilizations I've met are the culturally Latin ones. Uh, the other culturally Latin ones. Italy and the uh, Portuguese-speaking countries. I'll meet the Spanish-speaking ones as well. So I'll meet all the culturally Latin civilizations at some point. Oh, Trieste. Interesting. They're a militaristic city-state. As Italy, I'm thinking of conquering Trieste, which, you know, since Trieste is an Italian city, it makes sense. Uh, so. Okay. I'm neck and neck with Afonso Pena of Brazil. But, God willing, I will remain. I will eventually. Okay. So they are a little afraid of me, as they should be. But I eventually will be able to found my own religion with Stonehenge. And you can eat your heart out, Victoria, because I will build Stonehenge before you can. Now, I'm gonna... Uh, it's been a while since I've played Civilization V. I don't know if it al allows you to build a religion immediately or gives you a great profit. But uh, I, I forget at the moment. But we'll see what... Okay, I can just look right here. Oh, I discovered mining. That's good. Oh, it provides a free council building. That's good. So, I'll build a, I guess, a greenery after that, or a settler. But I, oh yeah, I need more population. That's the issue. Uh, okay, I'm gonna explore. Oh look, I can defeat that barbarian brute, which I might 
do. Uh, all right, yeah, I'm not gonna fuck around with them. Okay, Maximilian I, the Great of Mexico. Hail, I am Maximilian I, Emperor of Mexico and Defender of the Liberties of Her People. What company do you bring? Uh, I bring good company. And this is, um, his background is Chapultepec Castle in Mexico City. And I recognize this building because I've actually been here uh, before many years ago as a teenager. Anything else? No. I'm good, but it's nice to meet Mexico. But I will explore these ruins before this Mexican warrior can. But the bad news is uh, Mexico is more uh, powerful than I am. They have a higher score, which is not good. I will rectify that with Stonehenge. And that Brazilian, okay. Oh, I found some survivors in those ruins, so that's good. Now I can build a settler as soon as I'm done with Stonehenge. It looks like growth in my city is stagnant. That is not good. But I'm neck and neck with Maximilian of Mexico. Adopt policy. I'm going to go for Liberty, which will give me a free worker and three gold in every city so that I can get more money. That's good. So now I'm going to just automate this worker, have him build whatever. Or, you know, improve the land however he sees fit. Okay, I'm more powerful than everyone. That makes me happy. Oh, shoot. I built Stonehenge. All right. I found an ancient oracle in one of the ruins. Did I get a new technology? I think I... I don't know if I did. But anyways, found a pantheon. So which pantheon shall I found? Maybe one that's... I'll do this one that gives me more science. Goddess of Wisdom. Or I could do God King, which gives me... Uh, this one gives me a little bit of... I'll go with Goddess of Wisdom. That'll be my pantheon. I'll just go down here. Let me get away from these barbarians. I don't want to lose my only advanced unit. Okay. So I'm more powerful than everyone, which is good. But I also want to build that settler. Now, I can't purchase the settler. I'll finish the shrine first. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, more ruins. Nice. Oh, but more barbarians. That's not so nice. <laughs> oh, come on. What these... Aristotle has completed their greatest work of all. The list of mightiest rulers in history. Well, I'm, the s I'm the eighth out of all the 12 players. I don't know who the first is. It's an unmet player. Now it's animal husbandry time. I'm going to research that. And now I'm just going to go... I received 85 gold. Well, that's good. I'm going to purchase a unit. I'm going to purchase a warrior. Maybe with the spearman and that warrior, I'll take out London. I don't know. Uh, conquering another civilization is good. Although some of the others might hate me for that. I'll make London a puppet city. A perpetual puppet city. Because I don't want, like, my unhappiness to get to be too much. So... I might just explore some more of the east with this warrior, or I might just build another Pathfinder. I don't know. I like having us. I'll just have him explore it. And who's this? Oscar II the Great of Sweden, Norway. Welcome to the United Kingdoms of Sweden and Norway. I'm Oscar II, her king. Shall we. Now, shall we adjourn to somewhere more comfortable so that we may talk of our future together? I guess we can. This is a palace in Stockholm, if I'm not mistaken. This is one of them in Stockholm. I was just there over the over this past summer. Had a wonderful time. 
It's a beautiful city. As is Rome, as is London, as is Mexico City. I've been to all of those cities. And Lisbon, too. I was just there over the holidays. All right. They're all beautiful cities. I don't know if... Uh, I, I, uh, I imagine Hiu uh, Jijaneiru is a beautiful city. I've just never been. Maybe someday. All right, let's discover... Let's explore these ruins. Oh, I've met... Isabella II, the Great of Spain. I am Isabella II, Queen of the Spains. Have you come to witness the beauty and power of Spain? Then look at me all you like. All right, I think this is a palace in Madrid. I forget which one, though. Madrid's another beautiful city. Just haven't been there in a long time. Not since I was a... Not since I was a little kid. Okay, so... I'm still the most powerful out of all the players I've met, so... That's good. Washington, D.C. There's the Capitol building. And here's t uh, here's Teddy Roosevelt, or Theodore Roosevelt. And yes, I've also been to Washington, D.C., another beautiful city. And there is the Capitol building, which I've also visited. Uh, Consul Theodore Roosevelt of America. This is the United States of America. Whilst you're here, you'll respect your liberties, or I'll throw you out on your ass. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty based for uh, Teddy Roosevelt. What do you have in mind? Anything else? No. Shall I make a joint declaration of friendship? I wonder what he's gonna say. No, perhaps another time. Oh, I thought he was gonna say something funny. What if I ask again? Nah, he's gonna say the same thing. All right, I just really like uh, Teddy Roosevelt's music. I'm still the most powerful, which is amazing. Borders of Rome have grown. Bellissima, as they say in Italian. Okay. Send this guy back. Oh no, I thought I was gonna explore with him. Whatever. I'll defeat this one barbarian, because like, why not? I just want to find where the ocean is, because, like, there's a there's a big continent here, and I have no idea where the ocean is. There's America. There's Mer... There's a... American Pathfinder. Hanoi. There's America. That's my country right there. And there's Hanoi! Which is in Vietnam, obviously. But there, maybe I'll make an alliance with Hanoi and then conquer Trieste. That'll give me some victory points. Okay. It tells me how much gold they have. Hmm. Interesting. Who's got the biggest economy? I think Mexico does. Oh no, what Great Britain does. Or, or Spain? Hmm, huh, interesting. I'm gonna send the warrior out to explore. Uh, ruins discovered. What am I gonna do with these ruins? I'll explore them, obviously. Um, I'm almost done with the shrine. What'll I build next? All right. Council Sadmiento of Argentina. Welcome to Argentina. If you value education, you will be welcome here. Already he likes me. I'll discuss, do you wanna make a joint declaration of friendship? I'm sorry, but we haven't known one another for long enough for me to feel comfortable doing so. Perhaps we can revisit this subject in the future. Okay, Senor Sarmiento, uh, I will respect your wishes. Buenos Aires, another city I haven't been to. Haven't been to South America yet. Hopefully someday I'll go soon. Hopefully someday soon I'll go. I'll definitely go at some point in the future. Right, I have- oh, I found more advanced weapons. Oh, I'm a scout now. Oh, I think you can build scouts later. That makes sense. A lot as we worked with these, uh, Vox Populi mods. Consul Clemenceau of France. And this is a building in Paris, but I forget which one. But again, Paris, another city I've been to, very beautiful. Greetings, I am Georges Clemenceau. Would you care for a pleasant walk? A pleasant talk along the briny beach? 
I guess we could do that. And I'm gonna go now. Pyramids have been built in a faraway land. That is not good. I so okay, everything, all the civilizations listed here, it's by score. Which makes sense. So I'm still at the top. Which is good. But for how much longer? Well, let's not get into doomsday scenarios. I will continue to remain at the top for as long as I can. I don't know how I'm gonna win this game. Maybe I'll do diplomacy. Maybe I'll launch the rocket ship into space. I don't know. I'm not gonna conquer everyone. I've never done that on this fake map before. Oh, there's Jerusalem. But, uh... Anyways. Did I meet somebody else? Oh. Is that everyone? No, I just got two more. I think it's Germany and Austria-Hungary. I think those are the last two guys I gotta meet. And I haven't met them yet. So just... I could take out London. I don't know if I'm ballsy enough to do it. I just need a stronger army. You know what? We can meet London... I'm sorry, no. We can meet the Germans and the Austro-Hungarians later. Okay, I'm gonna save right now just in case anything bad happens. I already created an earlier save game, but... You never know what's going to happen.